Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will look at how to create a new project in the InTouch SCADA software. Let's get started. Okay. So before we start, let's have a quick introduction to the Intact SCADA software. Okay, so the Intact SCADA software is a software that belongs to the Wonderware software company, which is a very big company when it comes in terms of SCADA and HMI design. So the Intact SCADA software has three main parts. The first part is the application manager. The application manager is basically used for project organization. So when you first launch the software, that's the first part that you will see, the application manager. Okay, the second part of the software is the window maker. The window maker is, is a development environment that is used for the SCADA design. So all your designs, the creation of tags are being done in this part of the software. And then the last part of the software is the window viewer. So after you've done your design, if you want to move into runtime, this is the part of the software that will aid you to run your design to see how it will function on screen. So with this understanding, we can then move on and then have a look at the software and then create our first project. So to create your first project, you need to launch the InTouch software. So we look for the icon InTouch and then we start the application. We click yes okay so basically the first part of the software that we talked about is the application manager so we can see the application manager launched right here and we can see different projects that we have here so it's basically for organizing the projects so we have the conveyor project we have an x example one project and other demo projects okay so we'll create our new project so to create a project you go to file you go to new and then you have the create new application wizard so we move to next because this is showing us the path where we want to store our project okay so the path is okay for me if you want to change the path you can click on the browse and then you can move to any directory where you want to save your application okay so we can click on next to move now we want this to specify which folder we want to keep our application for now we can give it any name okay so we enter the directory now so we can give it a name tutorial okay so this is going to be a tutorial one and then we move to next okay then it's asking for the application name that is the project name so we can give it a name and this is going to be our test one okay you can give it a description if you want for now we leave it as it is and then we can click on the finish okay so we have our application created right here so we can now double click on it to open okay so because it's a demo so we click on ok and then we click on uh, ignore because we'll be using the demo side of this particular software so we have the application open now and this side is what we term as the window maker so basically we were able to see the application manager where we created our application and now when we launch the application it now moves us into what we term as the window maker where we are going to do our development or do all our SCADA design okay so it come in windows because you'll be having multiple windows you can have maybe windows for main menu you can have windows for sub menus so you can create your first window so we can either right click at this point and then you select new or you can go to the file and then select new as well so you can create multiple windows so you can give the window a name so for now this is going to be our first window so we can make it our main window you can give it comments if you wish 
you can also give it uh, x y location and also the width and then the height of your window but for now we'll leave it as default you can also change the color of the window right here if you want different colors you can select it but for now we leave it as default and then we click on ok alright so we've created our first window in our project or in our application you can drag so that the window fills the entire screen and basically that is that so viewers we've been able to create our first project in in touch scheda so in the next tutorial we will look at how to create a simple object and also do a simulation of this particular object with this software thank you all for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye